the multiple nuclei theory by Harris and Ullman, and it was proposed in 1945. According to the Harris and Ullman, uh, structure of the city is more complex as it was proposed in concentric zone theory and sector model that city has a single center and most of the structures of the cities were concentrated around that single center. But in reality, to some extent, it is also the true. Most of the times it was found that there are more subsidiary centers and it was argued by the Harris and Ullman that several subsidiary centers were found in the city and each center may act as a growth pole for the development. And around each such a nuclei, land uses that are related or functionally linked will cluster and new subsidiary center is formed in the city. Thus, in such a way, multiple nucleated pattern in the city was created. Therefore, the entire process is the historical one. Before understanding that process, we have to know what are the factors that were responsible for the formation of the multiple nuclei or how that multiple nuclei were created in the city. So we will move towards the next slides to understand that. So as we already discussed that this uh, formation of the multiple nuclei is the historical process and it is the result of uh, following factors. So that factors are certain activities are limited to a particular site because they all have highly specialized needs. For example, a retail district needs accessibility and accessibility is uh, much better at the city center. That's why center location is best for the retail district. And, and manufacturing center require transportation facilities. And if the efficient transportation facilities are there, then manufacturing center is there. Now the next important point in the theory that certain related activities tend to cluster in the same district. And due to the close proximity, they get benefit from that cohesion. Means every center is depends upon certain related activities. If that related activity is attracted towards that particular center, then automatically that center will grow and act as a growth pool. So for example, auto repair shop is there, then it was accompanied by tire and auto glass shop. As I mentioned, two factors are associated with the formation of the sub-center or subsidiary centers. So these are durable activities. And when we look at the third activity, unrelated activities, uh, which is not that much favorable for the formation of a single center and uh, repelling activities are there. And that's why certain other centers are also formed rather than concentration of all of the activities at a single center. So sometimes repelling activities are also playing very important role in the formation of multiple centers. So certain unrelated activities are there, they are very in nature and that's why they repel each other. For example, school and cinema hall, they repel each other. That's why school and cinema hall were not formed in a single nuclei. So that's why there is a separate nuclei for the entertainment or the cinema hall and a separate nuclei for the school. That's why two different nuclei were created. And these nuclei were created due to the different nature of the activities performed by the school and cinema hall. And even high class residents and manufacturing district, they also repel each other and form two different nuclei. And certain activities like the high class business activity, they are able to generate enough income and that's why they were concentrated into the high rent areas. That's why they also created their new high rent areas and different nuclei. For example, specialty shop. Now move towards the next slide which define how that multiple nuclei were created and how many uh, nuclei are there and how city structure is formed around that nuclei. So according to this theory, the places that were act as a nuclei are the airports, industrial complexes, waterfronts, sports, railway station, university campus and the herds of the individual village centers. And most important thing he discussed that the pattern of this multiple nuclear center is not the rigid one. It varies from place to place and varies from city to city. It depends on the nature of the city, what kind of the activities are dominant in that city. So it is also one of the important thing that multiple nuclear structure is not a rigid structure as it was explained in the concentric zone theory and sector theory that single centered city is there and rigid structure of the city is also there. But in multiple nuclei, uh, he also taken into consideration that the city structure is not the rigid one and it varies from city to city. And this structure is depend upon what kind of the topography is there and what is the history of that city. So uh, when we look at the zones of the theory, there, there are nine zones which were described by the Harris and Ullman. So first one is the central business district. So this is the central business district, which is the center of all the commercial, political and social activities. Then 
this particular center which was in blue color is act as a wholesale and light manufacturing center or the nuclei then third one is the low class residence low class residential area which is near to the cbd and wholesale and light manufacturing so automatically the workers are reside here uh, who are able to work at cbd and wholesale and light manufacturing so this uh, fifth one is high class residential area six is associated with heavy manufacturing so automatically the new nuclei is associated with that heavy manufacturing heavy manufacturing area is created here because the cheap labors are available in that third zone that's why this new nuclei is created near to that area and this seven number is the outlying business district because of the high class residential area is here then this eight number is the residential suburb that residential suburb related to this uh, outlying business district area though people who control that outlying business district area they reside here in that suburb area it is the industrial suburb which is related to the heavy manufacturing so all the related activities are 10 to cluster and different clusters of different nuclei were created in the multiple nuclei and it was very well described in the multiple nuclei theory so this is the main cbd this is the outlying cbd this is heavy manufacturing zone which was accompanied by the industrial suburbs certain related activities will attract each other and they form the new nuclei so multiple nuclei are here in this city there are certain merits in the multiple nuclei theory multiple nuclei theory is not the rigid it is flexible that's why it is most applicable in the most of the cities in the world in developed and developing region as compared to the concentric zone theory and the sector model it is flexible and more applicable but uh, a few lacunas are also there and theory is criticized on that this theory is failed to suggest any special order in the city thank you very much for watching thank you